All right, everyone, so here is our slow cooker uh, supper. Uh, I've got a slow cooker pork loin in there and with gravy. The gravy, um, it's just a, a little bit of water. I didn't measure anything. Uh, one can of cream of mushroom, and I had uh, two packs of brown gravy mix, so I just threw them in there and made some mashed potatoes. So that's our uh, eat out of our pantry supper for this Friday night. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day. It is Saturday afternoon, just after one o'clock, and we had no breakfast this morning, but it is lunchtime. So um, first off, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And I have some uh, leftover sweet Hawaiian rolls here. These are leftover from when we had the hot ham and cheese on Hawaiian rolls. And so I am making lunch, cooking from our pantry, whatever I could find. And I'm just uh, putting some Miracle Whip on here. And basically going to make some uh, chopped hamburgers. <laughs> chopped meat hamburgers, I guess you can call it. I just uh, cooked up some ground beef, threw some ketchup in it. And I'm going to put that on here with the Miracle Whip. Got some tomatoes from the garden. It's our last harvest, basically, because they are not turning anymore. Um, and going to top it with some of those tomatoes. It's kind of kind of like a hamburger, but the ground beef is just all chopped up. You can use Miracle Whip, or mayo, whatever you want. Or if you don't like it at all, don't put it on there. Put whatever toppings you want on it. And that's what we're having for lunch. Normally we would do these on hamburger buns, um, but we don't have any hamburger buns, but we do have Hawaiian rolls. So let me get some of that uh, chopped meat. Okay, so I have the ground beef here. All it is is chopped uh, ground beef that I salt, uh, seasoned with salt, pepper, some onion powder. And then when it was done, I just drained it and threw some ketchup in it. Now you could leave the Hawaiian rolls all intact and then just smear the Miracle Whip and the ground beef like all over it. Um, I'm talking with my hands here, can you tell? <laughs> um, but I just did it this way. Probably would have been easier to keep it all in there doing it the other way, but no matter. Hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. Um, I'll be getting some stuff ready today for our camping trip and tomorrow I'll be uh, in the kitchen pretty much all day. I'm not throwing any cheese or anything on here. You can if you want. All right, just taking some uh, little cherry tomatoes from our garden. Put them on there. All right, and that's it. Uh, chopped hamburgers on Hawaiian sweet rolls. So that is it. That's what we're having for lunch from the pantry, from our pantry. All right, stay tuned. Um, tonight we're having leftovers, uh, pork loin with the mashed potatoes. Stay tuned. Hey everyone. So it is a uh, Saturday evening and it's about 6.30 now and um, real chilly, 51 degrees. Uh, we had kind of high winds today so it made it colder but we are definitely staying in fall temperatures now. But anyway, we're in the backyard as you can see, uh, the beautiful trees in back of me. We are actually uh, letting Gypsy run around. I've been throwing the ball for her and 
she's just been burning energy so Glenn and I Glenn's next to me but he doesn't always like to be on camera <laughs> but want to say hi hold on I suppose. okay okay Glenn said he's gonna say hi so let me put the camera on him okay hey everybody how's your night okay I said hi <laughs> the, uh, in front of the camera person. Uh, so there was Glenn, a uh, man of many words. And uh, uh, Gypsy's right in back of me. As you can see right there. Um, she's just kind of picking up sticks and grass and everything she can find. So, yeah. Um, okay, got to tend to Gypsy. All right, everyone. So let me show you what I'm going to eat this Sunday morning. And right now I have some water in the tea kettle on the stove so I can have some uh, cappuccino. I like the French vanilla cappuccino. That's my, that's pretty much the only cappuccino I drink is French vanilla. And great value is the cheap brand. And it tastes just as good. So it actually tastes better than some other brands. So I'm going to have cappuccino. And I've got some English muffins here. I've got two of them cut up. These are the same ones we received in the pantry like a week ago. Not this past weekly one, but the week before that. And I have some in the freezer, but I have a couple out. And I'm hungry, so I'm going to have two. No shame in that. So <laughs> I'll be in the kitchen all day, so I'm going to eat right now. <laughs> I might not get a chance later. But um, so I've got them... Uh, with some butter spread on them and I'm putting them on this uh, stovetop griddle and I am just going to turn them upside down of course <laughs> and just toast them on the stove and I like toasting breads and other things on the stove or in the oven rather than a toaster a toaster is so hard to regulate to from one toast to the other so I actually like it better on the stovetop or the oven or the griddle the electric griddle uh, toasts stuff really well also but I'm gonna put this on the stovetop since it's just me and it's gonna melt the butter uh, give a little crust to the top and I'm just gonna sprinkle some McCormick's bacon pieces uh, it's applewood smoke these are the hard ones but they're not that big, you can see, so they're not that bad on your teeth. Um, some people like the soft bacon bits. For this particular uh, dish or breakfast or whatever, I like the hard ones. And I'll tell you why. I have a story that goes to that. Um, back when I was in junior high school, 7th, 8th grade, uh, me and my best friend used to go. She, she lived near the school, and we were able to go home for lunch um, in, in back then in school. So, um, and we had sleepovers. I'd spend the night at her house. She'd spend the night at my house or whatever. But anyway, um, when we went home for lunch, we would just grab stuff out of her refrigerator or make something like this. So this is something me and my best friend had back in seventh and eighth grade junior high school. Um, we put it in the toaster, of course, but this same exact thing, toast them, put some bacon bits on them and eat them just like that. So I actually went to the dollar store to look for something and I saw these. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I couldn't pass that up and McCormick's at that, at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. That's a pretty good deal for, uh, McCormick's. So I couldn't pass that up. I As soon as I saw them, it made me think of that right away. And I knew I had to get them because I knew we had English muffins. So uh, this is not something Glenn would like. Um, he's actually eating his toast with that uh, with the uh, Dutch apple jam that we bought at the, the orchard the other day when we went out. But yeah, so this is what I'm eating. And I'll show you uh, when it's done. I got the bacon sprinkled on it, but that's all I'm going to have. And then I'm going to get started in the kitchen before the day gets by me.
All right, everyone, so here's my toasted English muffins, a nice uh, toast on the top and the bottom. So now I'm just going to drizzle my baking bits over it, and that's all there is to it. All right, so there it is, just English muffins with some bacon bits on it. If I had avocado, I probably would put avocado and then some bacon bits on it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this. Uh, definitely brings back some memories. Um, unfortunately, my best friend back then, uh, we're no longer in contact. Um, once we reached high school, uh, she found a new group of friends, and we just grew distant. Um, she had other interests. I had other interests, and we just grew our... We just kind of grew apart and went our separate ways and really never connected again so but at least I have the memories and a good friend at that time so all right I'm gonna eat and stay tuned for a day of baking and cooking all right everyone so it is supper time now <laughs> I am dead tired right now so the only meal I actually made was a chicken noodle soup and uh never got to any other meals but oh wow <laughs> Uh, I made all those desserts, and now it's supper time. So, somebody had asked before on how I make the chicken patties, and I'm not sure how long ago that was, and I hope they're still watching. Um, so, I'm going to go through how I make the chicken patties. Okay, I'm not sure where I left off, um, but somebody was at the door. I had to go get the door. Um, so, in here I have my leftover mashed potatoes, and... I put a, just one a, a can of chicken. You can get them at Walmart or whatever. We normally get ours from the food pantry. But this is just one can of chicken and I drain all the water out. And so you just, you know, mix it up. So I'm just going to mix this up. And then besides that, I have my egg wash, just a couple of eggs. And I took a pack of uh, saltine crackers or, you know, whatever. And just crushed them up, put them in a Ziploc bag, got a rolling pin, and just crushed them up. So that's all I did. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mixing this up, and I will be back. Okay, so all I'm going to do is grab some, and then just make it into a patty. Just kind of throw it around in my hand, just to kind of make a ball, and just squish it down a little bit. And then just put it in the egg wash. Now make sure your pota your potatoes are not fresh because they'll be too mushy. Uh, mine are just out of the refrigerator and they're just like, they're able to stick. So, all right, throw it in the egg wash and then just throw it in your uh, crushed up crackers. And then I'll just make all the patties and then I'll just fry them in butter. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish making these patties. And I'll be back. Okay, so here are all my chicken patties. I got eight of them. So that's perfect. And used up all the mashed potatoes. So that that uh, pot of mashed potatoes fed us three times. So when I made the mashed potatoes, uh, back when I put the pork loin in the slow cooker, I knew I was going to use it for at least two nights for the pork loin, and I knew I was going to make chicken patties with it. So, all right, uh, I got butter warming up and melting in the frying pan, and we'll get to frying them. Okay, so this is the stuff uh, we have as a side dish when we have chicken patties. It's really good. It's sweet. Um, it's just frozen strawberries and sugar. It's strawberry chunks, and the juice has sugar in it. It's really good, especially on a hot day. It's not hot today, obviously, but uh, just to show you, this is what we have as our side, only because our bowls are red also, and it wouldn't really show that well when I put it in the bowl. So, all right, our chicken patties are almost done, so we'll be ready to plate up. All right, everyone, so there is supper for this Sunday night. Um, yeah, I'm tired. I'm going to eat, and I still have stuff to do. So, 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and close the video out here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. I appreciate all your support. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.